We are beating on earnings per share and net sales. They've been worried about this particular company. Absolutely. It's uh, totally driven by supply demand. And the question is, what does the demand picture look like relative to bid growth, both on the DRAM side and the and the NAND memory side, the two kinds of memory that Micron makes? Um, and what is the end demand picture? The balance between the two will drive pricing for both of those commodity chips. And as a result, will drive revenues and uh, earnings power for the company. Now, it's important to bear in mind that Micron is down about 25% since its highs earlier this year. So when we see a little bounce after earnings, to some extent, that just might reflect that a lot of the bad news is uh, priced in, basically. Absolutely. I mean, the bigger question is not the 3%, 2%, 5% moves. And as as drastic, as sharp as those moves might be is what does the um, cycle look like and what does the earnings picture look like for for the memory industry for the next four quarters. Is this a a new and improved memory industry um, where supply and demand can match each other and supply cuts can be uh, be in control and uh, proportional to demand moves? Or is this the demand cycle of yore where you know, you have drastic oversupply and drastic undersupply leading to price swings in either direction. What does Micron's results and indeed Micron's bigger issues tell us about uh, the, the, the status of companies like Intel, uh, the ones that are bellwethers for semiconductors? Look, I mean, this is the raging debate in the semiconductor industry right now as to whether the semi-cycle has drastically turned. The question is, Um, Is this a bump along the way? Is this a two-quarter, three-quarter demand correction where um, you can reduce inventory, um, have a little bit of a fire sale, and it's corrected? We have righted the ship, if you may, and the long-term demand picture is intact. Option A. Or option B, have we returned to the semiconductor cycles of yore where you have six quarters worth of reconciliation that needs to be done and um, a substantial realignment of supply and demand?